Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the Enhanced Swarm mod. Let's, uh, before we give Warfield a try, let's just see what we got here. Try to make sure that we have everything that we need. I like the armor upgrades. I don't think that we need Broodlings right now. I think that, uh, Brood Queens, meh, not really here. Yeah, just get our stuff. Maybe armor and weapon upgrades faster, because Marines really, really scale poorly when you have those armor upgrades. Plus, we can get this, uh, maximum life increase. I think that this is a malignant creep mission. Obviously, we got to spread the creep, so we might as well maximize it in the best way we can. And then... Hatcheries... Let's take ability cooldowns and just see if that helps. I'm not entirely sure it will, but... Yeah. This seems like an easy, reasonable setup to go for, for Fire in the Sky, where we're going to be fighting against the Gorgons. And it looks like that we are getting the Abomination, which is the Spiky Aberration. Oh no. <laughs> don't don't have that as the tip. Don't have that as the tip. Why? <laughs> the bone trench. Okay. The um widow mines are fun, huh? Well, we're gonna we're gonna see about that game. This is a lot of stuff. We beat you on char before. We can do it again. It's true. You did that with Jim's help before you betrayed him. What? I'm a general of the Terran Dominion, and I always- Didn't betray watched. him. We may not be perfect, but we're humanity's last, best hope against threats like you. Well then, today I learned. My queen, uh, okay, so now we can read the intel because this is just normal Zagara stuff. Several abominations lost in this region have acquired a particular mutation, granting them extreme resistance to psionics. If recovered, their mutations can be incorporated. Cool. Sounds great. Hurry. Spread creep to those scourge nests. Lost Abominations is my favorite uh, Blizzard game. That will awaken the scourge nest. I hope it is enough to destroy Okay, we got again. free spawning Zerglings. Hopefully that helps. We got you guys. We have the bonus range on the vision for these. Hope that helps as well. We got biles to spew. Miles of biles. And we have no enemies. Oh, cyclones. Oh my goodness. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot of stuff here. Let's uh get these upgrade. Wait. Where is the upgrade? Here? We'll take this. And we'll take... I guess ensnare, because we might use that for spotting. Probably won't. Let's get our Evo Chamber and... Maybe another Evo chamber. At this point, triple Evo seems kind of reasonable in this mod. And then... Uh, we have a layer... Muta upgrade, I don't care. I don't think we're going Mutas here. That is a scary place up there, though. I think, yeah, we're good. Bile Spewers are definitely going to be MVPs in this mission, because we took the anti-structure damage and the cooldown advantage, right? So that's going to be huge. We're going to have a really, really nice ability to siege. Oh, I'm getting Swarm Lurkers. I actually don't want those. They're so expensive. I can't really justify them at this point. That is a nice siege tank. This is impressive. Warfield is looking really good here. I love it. And we're, we're getting a lot of stuff. This is one of my biggest issues with Wing or with Heart of the Swarm in general, and this is not just me, is that Warfield feels a little underpowered. Like, we have to go. We have to get up here real fast. Get this spread. These guys this way. Set the hotkey. Go, go. Oh, he's even got SCVs. I love it. <laughs> he feels like he should. Don't worry. Drop creep tumor. Come on, just increase that radius. Uh, we need abominations, I guess. Uh, we gotta get a roach warren. But I need to deal with this gorgon first. Here we go. First gorgon dealt with. Now we can grab a roach warren. And a hydralis den. That's gonna blow up the first gorgon. Very close to us. Oh, it infested the command center. Yes, yes, yes. We gotta, gotta keep this alive now. It's not really that important anymore, but it's still very cool and I love it. That is so much. 
Okay, set the Biles. We got Biles for miles. I think that Bile plus Festering One is a really good composition. <laughs> Look at this, carrying the creep around with it. That's funny. Uh, that area, I kind of want to deal with. No, I keep building the Swarm Lurker because I keep thinking it's going to be the Roach for some reason. I really need this queen to die. I I don't like her being in my hockey. She's very annoying. Here. Why don't you just sit in the back, actually, and do that, and then... Here we go, Bile Spear. I think it's because they cost very similar amounts, too, and they have very similar looks to them. Okay, you need a Baneling Nest. Get another Gorgon into the fight. Another Gorgon's going. Okay. Spew and spew. Deploy drop pods. Oh, not ready for that. Hmm. Oh gosh, that's a lot of guys. So I bet the lost abominations are down here. There's also a scourge nest down there, so it's worth clearing too. It's just uh. So much to do and so little money to do it with is very, very rough. Just a little thing down there. That's nothing. This is a base. <laughs> they got Widow Mines. Okay, spew that bile. Yeah, this feels right. Bile Spewers in tandem with Festering Ones. Amazing combo. So, so powerful. Yeah, keep the creep going. So we should have a bunch of free Zerglings in a moment that we can turn into these. Because we got a lot of gas. That's a lot of siege power. Oh, hello. Hello. Are you really going to pick up your drop stuff and find a different place? That's a jerk maneuver. Keep the tumors going. Blast all that. Tumors go. For some reason, it doesn't have my default tumor spread hotkeys, but whatever. Because I usually have rapid fire associated with it as well. But that's okay. Every mod is like a snowflake. Okay, we busted this location. We can actually grab the base here. That'll be really nice for us. We'll have a lot of money to be working with. This is a crazy stressful mission in a good way. Like, thank goodness Warfield is powerful. We have all these festering ones, though, which is, I think, the benefit that we need, the big buff. Because look at our siege prowess now. All of these vials do extra damage against structures. These do extra damage against structures. We are built to crack through Warfield. We just need to keep these locations safe now. Uh, we definitely need some Hydras to work with this, though. Just a few. I don't think we need a lot. Just enough to make sure that we're not getting roasted by Banshees or something. Two down. There's more coming. Spread the creep. Bring in a Gorgon. Spread the creep. Crush yeah, the ba exactly for this sort of thing. We'll get a couple more. The initial land does some damage, but the cooldown is tough. Here, got the snipes. Perfect. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really, really good here. Let's uh, send the creep this way and check out what's going on over... Oh, there's the Lost Abominations. It's gotta be. I knew this area was worth scouting. Oh, down here. Here we go. So, Psionic Resistance. 80% less damage from spells. Wow. Where are you going? You're not going to find happiness over there, you know? Only Doom. Unless Doom makes you happy. Uh, these Evo Chamber. You know what? We only need, like, one Evo Chamber now for production, so let's just open that area up and make sure that it's clear. No bases over here. 
It was just a little bit of an outpost, but we're going to spread creep so that we can jump on things if need be. Next Gorgon is incoming, and... I heard a widow mine. Oh, get out of my thing, queen. Oh, that's really far away. The relocation of all of these is uh, super brutal. We're going to have to make a significant number of bile spewers. One, two, three. One, two, three. Keep that up. I'm a little bit afraid we're going to start running out of minerals or something. we got to pay attention to that as well. I wouldn't put it past them. And there's been these drops, so I think they're coming from this base. So if we could take that down, then maybe the drops will stop happening. Bunch of stuff coming over here. I see a couple enemies on the mini-map. What are these? Oh, just like a bulldozer and stuff. We'll have to check that out in the future just to make sure. Thank goodness we have the anti-structure damage. I can't believe that Depot Dave has been working for the enemy. Look at this. <laughs> this is <laughs> Dave Treason. Don't worry, Kerrigan. We'll figure this out. Oh my. Worry a little bit, Kerrigan. We might not figure this out. Head up over. Files. Alright. I'm getting a couple swarm hosts intentionally this time. Just figure they might be pretty good at uh, keeping my base safe for a minimal investment while I deal with everything else. I'm not sure I need this base, but I'm going to grab it anyway because I have a couple extra workers and seems like it'd be nice. What is this? The gate control. Okay. There must be a gate somewhere. Another Gorgon down. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Uh, more scourge nest. Spore, spore, and then... Call in another Gorgon. Where are they? Here they are. So they can deep tunnel. Send two right here, and then... A couple right there. You get this spore to help. Oh gosh, we're being hit. Curious. Can you guys really not hit it? Oh, you just have to wait. This is an awkward fight. There we go. <laughs> Couple more Hydras. Uh, let's go clear the stuff out over here just to be sure. I heard Vespian guys are exhausted. So we're going to take some of these and bring them on over to this new base with double extra gas. Ooh, I like that. See, this is how the mission should be is... Tons and tons and tons of money, but you gotta use the money to win. This is beautiful. Really good. So, it's just pure economy, which is lore accurate for Char anyway. The whole point of Char being such an important location is because it's got all the resources on it. Everyone's gotta get some mining done. A couple of you guys over here. Let's get a spore and a spine. And then... Oh, what am I in? These free Zerglings are helping out a lot against the Widow Mines. And then, of course, the Biles take them down in a single shot as well, I believe. So, it's, uh, it's an obnoxious unit, but we're actually doing great against it. Keep the creep spread. And we got so much in the bank right now. I'm kind of saving this one, so when uh, it gets close, then we can throw it off. You don't want to be too fast on this mission because you can respawn the Gorgons faster than you want and make the mission harder accidentally. So we're going to let them get a little bit closer. Pull these over here. And more tumors. Sometimes it's easier to just drop tumors. Is this good? Yeah, I think this is good. I don't want him killing my creep. Face down. And I guess we're going to grab another base. I don't know if we're ever going to be able to use this one. The other one was like, yeah, it might work. This one I feel pretty hesitant about saying will be good. Let's keep going. General Warfield called in another Gorgon, my queen. Lots of bones in that trench. Go, go, All go. Sir. You'll join them soon enough. Keep the spreading. 
We gotta make sure that we get all the bonus levels, of course. That's gonna be important. Blast through the sandbag. Oh my gosh, our bonus damage against buildings thing doesn't hit sandbags. Are sandbags not buildings? Oh, uh, we're learning some StarCraft lore here. Try to pull these back. Oh, we have another one of these guys. Okay, you're annoying. Whatever, we have a million billion dollars. We can we can deal with this. The enemy is dead. We have all the money in the world. Let's just uh, <laughs> overkill our defense. Nice defense. Er, yeah. Where's your lunch orders now, bud? Looks like the last one is probably inside the enemy base, which is very cool. So we're going to have to bust through that as well. Which, of course, we have the tools to do. Ooh, uh, I guess we're getting Zerglings. Keep these Biles flyles. One thing I really like about the Bile Spewer is it's always ready to tank at every fight. It's not like something is just really tanky that uh, gets worn down over time. It's moderately tanky, but every single time it engages, it's at full power. And that's really, really, really useful. And very good. I knew this day would come, Kerrigan. I'll take you Keep down to hell down. myself. We're in. Final one is right down here. You know? And we gotta remember to get, get the bonus. Into the fight. Oh, Acidic payload. Abominations have plus two armor and spawn two banelings on death. That sounds reasonable and fair. Okay. He oh, there's a... Let's just keep going. I'm gonna get you, Warfield. The Archangel. Thought it was Valius for a moment. I don't know my lore. You're gonna get wrecked, Warfield. Nice base, loser. Okay, uh, we gotta pull back for a moment. Do these spread creep? I don't think they do. I did not mean to burrow these. <laughs> oh. That's why I was having issues. It's okay. We got a whole another wave of stuff coming. Oh, there's a Scourge Nest in that base. Cool. I thought we were just doing this for fun while we were waiting for the Scourge Nest. All right. We actually got to do this. I like it. Go, go, go. How is this unacceptable? It's completely acceptable. If I told Kerrigan I want to spread creep, she'd say, yeah, that's acceptable. In fact, she'd say, why are you asking me this? Of course you're supposed to spread creep. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. <laughs> so good. There we go. Now we can take down everything. I don't have the Hydras here. They're kind of rallying their way over. Or maybe they're running. Oh no, those are the Overseers running in. Target that. Take you out. I swear we have another way to make creep. Uh, I guess we could just do the hatchery tri trick for this final one. Sounds like the easiest, most efficient way to do it. Though I don't know if the hatchery trick actually works. It may have been nerfed or something, so I'm going to make sure that I'm spreading the creep as well. This is a fun mission. Uh, I really like using overpowered things to blast through overpowered defenses. It feels really good. Pretty easy mission overall. I think uh, our tools are amazing. But wow, uh, very, very neat. Here comes the drone. It's time to pwn. Wait, don't target it. And we're done. Great mission, a lot of fun. We're gonna shoot this guy in the butt. Thruster's not strong enough to get you out of that one. Where's your tactical jump, Warfield? Pull back. Repeat. <laughs> like the, the 
trench. Retreat. If we had like some uh, of the lurker guys there, just impale them as it's going. That'd be so good. Oh man. Okay, bye Warfield. Beautiful. All right, so we're going to be, I assume, fighting defenses that are that level times more in the next mission. So let's uh, check out our research and stuff. Make sure that we have everything that we need prepared, and we will... We will go. Well, not right now, but next time. Um, Malignant Creep I really do like for these missions. It, Though, is it as good on this next mission? Because we're going to be busting in even more. Maybe I do like it. I wish we could get both of these. <laughs> like, I don't need this tier. Please give me this as well as this. Malignant creep plus uh, ground units. This is just structures, though, on this. I, I like the creep spread. It's really nice to have the big radius, but the structure attack speed is not as good as other buffs. Maybe we'll go Vespine efficiency. Auto gap. Nah. I'm pretty happy with what we have here. Honestly, these things are great. The ability cooldown feels very nice. Hatchery is cheaper to build. I don't care. <laughs> this is such a nothing burger compared to this one. All right. This is a really good setup. Let's uh, check if there's anything here that we want to swap out. I don't think we're using the Muta that much. It is good, but it doesn't really synergize with a lot of stuff. I like the target priority. We're going to stick on that. I love the feedback ability on this guy. You, uh, structure damage seems to be, I mean, they're a great siege unit. And for the roach. Oh, we have bonus versus light. All right. That's not what I thought, but uh, I guess that's why the Widow Mines were dying easily and the structures were just the Baneling guys in the back. It's hard to pay or to see where the Banelings are firing because the actual Banelings they spawn move like 7 billion miles an hour. Yeah, this is great. This is a good setup. Uh, thank you guys for watching. That is going to be it for today, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.